I would actually describe the migration of site pages, so .espx pages, to have the most unexpected behavior. The biggest one is if your source required to have publishing infrastructure. This is going to be a little bit tricky for the modern environments because the site feature publishing infrastructure is turned off and you're not really capable of adding it besides using PowerShell. The second thing to worry about, if you have any third-party parts in your pages, ShareGit is not going to be in a position to migrate those. You'll get a warning in the migration report saying that this web part cannot be found and nor recreated a destination. Last thing before we go back to questions, if you have any um, custom master page, for instance, that would have a different like CSS or anything else, if you have um, a custom page layout, ShareGit will be expecting those items to be already created on the destination. That has to be done prior to migration and manually. 